Family Theater presents Joan Leslie and Mel Blanc. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents Mel Blanc in The Adventures of Pinocchio. To introduce the drama, your hostess, Joan Leslie. Thank you, Tony Lafrano. Family theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family. Tonight, Family Theater takes great pleasure in presenting The Adventures of Pinocchio, starring Mel Blanc as Pinocchio. Once upon a time, an old woodcarver named Geppetto was given a strange piece of wood that seemed almost alive. So Geppetto decided to carve it into a little wooden puppet. They know the story, Tony. Come on, let's have some action. <clears throat> One morning, in his humble cottage, Geppetto assembled his carving tools and started to work. Ah, me? This is the liveliest piece of wood I ever worked on. I think I'll call this little puppet Pinocchio. <laughs> What's that? Did I hear somebody laugh? How could that be? I'm all alone here. <laughs> I do believe it's this piece of wood that's laughing. <laughs> Perhaps my knife is tickling its ribs. Hold still, bit of wood. Stop wiggling. There now. All finished. Hello, Pinocchio. Well, imagine that, a talking woodcarver. Hello, you funny old man. Whoever carved you out sure made a mess of it, didn't he? <laughs> Why, you ungrateful little rascal. I'll box your ears for that. Oh, yeah? You'll have to catch me first. Uh, Pinocchio, come back here. Pinocchio! Well, what do you know? I haven't been born five minutes and I'm running away from home already. Halt! Halt in the name of the king. Uh Uh-oh. There's a big soldier in the middle of the road. He's going to try to stop me. Watch me run right between his legs. Wow, what a block. Notre Dame could use you, big boy. I told you to stop, didn't I? Come here. Hey, hey, let go of my snoop. That's a nose, Yardbird, not a handle. Shut up, kid. Hey, mister, does this jumping jack belong to you? Yes, he does. That's my little Pinocchio. Um, here, you little scamp. I'll teach you to run away. Ow! Say, you keep hitting me like that, and you know what you're gonna get? No. What? Splinters. <laughs> Hold on there. Little boy, does your father mistreat you? Oh, yes, he does. He beats me all the time. What? He hits me. He kicks me. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's more than flesh and blood can stand. It's a good thing I'm made out of wood, ain't it? What do you say to that, old man? Are you mean to this little kid? Oh, no, officer. Why, I love the little tyke. Oh, he does not. Why, Mr. Soldier, less than five minutes ago, he was standing over me with a great big knife. That settles it. Run along home, little boy, and I'll take your cruel father to jail. Come with me, sir. Oh, please don't put me in jail. Pinocchio, tell him the truth. Take him away. (laughs) Now I can go back to the cottage and eat all the food in the house. Well, here's where I make a home run. Yep, this is the house I ran away from, and am I hungry? Ooh, look, a fireplace and a big kettle of soup on the fire. Ooh, watch me dive into that. Ooh! What happened? Well, what do you know? The fireplace and the kettle are just painted on the wall. I've been cadoodled. <laughs> Who's laughing at me? <laughs> I am. (laughs) Well, whoever you are, come on out and fight like a man. I'll come out, but I can't fight like a man, because I'm a cricket. Imagine that, a talking cricket. Well, who who let you in? Nobody. 
I've been in this house for a hundred years. Well, Spindle Shanks, your lease is up. Beat it, scream, blow. <laughs> Very well. But before I go, let me tell you one thing. Okay, but make it snappy. Little boys who run away will surely live to rue the day. Well, you aiming that crack at me? <laughs> well, Pinocchio, if the shoe fits, wear it. Listen, you puny little squeaking bug. One more chirp like that and I'll throw this hammer at you. That's just what a little boy like you would do. That does it. Uh-oh. I can throw straighter than I thought I could. Well, that's life, I guess. One minute you're a bug, the next minute you're just a spot on the wall. <laughs> Say, now I gotta find some food in this dump. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nope, nothing in there. Not even a crumb in there. Empty. Empty. Vacant. Say, this must be old Mother Hubbard's cupboard. Oh, the poor little talking cricket was right. I've been a wicked little boy, and now I'm being punished for it. <laughs> oh, if I can only find a bit of food, I promise never again. Boy, that just came in time, didn't it? Who's there? It is I, uh, Gepetto. Oh, Papa, Papa, my dear, dear Dowdy. Oh, there, Pinocchio, my little one. Oh, how happy I am to see you. And am I glad to see you, Papa? I'm starving. Here, I, I brought you three pears. Is that all? Just three little old pears? Well, okay. Go ahead and peel them. Peel them? Uh, I thought you were starving. I am, but I don't like the peelings. Hey, and take the cores out of them, too. Remember, you whittled me out, so you got to take care of me. Uh, very well, Pinocchio, but I'll tell you this. If I had that chunk of wood to carve over again, uh, I would have made a footstool out of you. Well, Pinocchio, you've been here a week now, and you're beginning to be a better boy. That's because you've been so kind to me, Papa. Every day in every way, I'm going to be gooder and gooder. Uh-uh. Careful now. Don't promise what you may not be able to do. Oh, but I will be a good boy, Papa. And I'll go to school, and I'll learn how to read and write, and then I'll make a lot of money. And with the very first money I get, I'll buy you a fine new coat to take the place of the coat you sold to get me this nice spelling book. And I... and I... Ain't I a long-winded little rascal? <laughs> There's the school bell, Pinocchio. Oh, is that what that noise is? Uh -huh. Gruesome, isn't it? <laughs> well, guess I'll have to go to school. Goody, goody. Run along, Pinocchio. Well, quit shoving me. I'm going, ain't I? Take care of your nice new spelling book. Oh, I will, Papa. You sold your coat to get it for me, and I'll be very careful of it. Hurry, Pinocchio, or you'll be late. Trying to get rid of me, huh? Well, okay, Pop. A dealer, a dollar, I'm gonna be a scholar. <laughs> Say, what's going on here? Looks like some kind of a show. Hurry, 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 right this way, ladies and gentlemen, for the great puppet show. They talk, they move, they sing, they dance just like real people. Hurry! Imagine that, puppets talking like people. That I gotta see. This way, folks, for the world's greatest puppet show. Only tuppence admission. Well, mister, I haven't got tuppence. What? Well, what do you know? A talking puppet. My boy, I want you to join my show. Oh, no, mister. I promised my dear papa I would go to school. I am a good little boy, and all the money in the world wouldn't induce me to break my promise. How much? <laughs> Five gold pieces every week. I'll take it. Ooh, thank you, mister. <laughs> I'll soon be home, and won't Papa be happy with these five gold pieces? Greetings, Pinocchio. How do you do? May we have a word with you? Hey, who's calling me? Who is calling? A plague and a pox. It is only I, a poor lame fox. Well, what do you know? A fox talking. And a lame fox at that. Uh, who's your friend, Mr. Fox? Ow! Ooh, I thought I tore a pussy down! <laughs> You did, you did. This is Mr. Cat. He is blind. Oh. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, have pity on me, sir. Poor blind cat. A lame fox and a blind cat. Now, ain't that too bad? Where are you going, Pinocchio? And what have you there? As if I didn't know. Well, uh, I'm going home to my dear papa, Geppetto, the woodcarver. And I'm taking him all this money. Oh, goodness. Five gold pieces. Well, Mr. Cat, uh, how do you know there's five gold pieces here? 
You can't see, remember? Oh, yes, of course, I can't see, but uh, I can smell the money, and it smells like five gold pieces. It does? Let me see. Hey, you got a better smeller than I have. Hey, Pinocchio, how yeah. would you like to take home to your papa not five gold pieces, but a bushel of them? Ooh, that'd be wonderful, but uh, how could I do that? Closer, my boy. I shouldn't reveal this to a living soul, but you are my friend. <laughs> Bury those five gold pieces in the field of miracles, and a tree will rise up with 10,000 gold pieces on every branch. How many branches? 100,000 branches. Wow, let's see, that's uh, 11,700,000 simoleons. Say, uh, where is this field of... Shh. Miracles. Walk straight down this road for two full days, and you'll come to the field at the parting of ways. Yeah, we'll meet you there, little boy, and show you where to bury your money. Oh, goody, goody, I'll start right now. Every minute I stand here, I'm losing money. So long, Foxy and Catsy. I'll see you at the field. Uh, oh, uh, you know what. <laughs> Goodness, what a pretty road this is. Listen to the birdies sing. Well, I've been walking for a day and a half now. I must be nearly there. Stop! Halt! Stand where you are. Oh, look. Robbers. Two men in long cloaks with masks over their faces. Oh, they're after my money. Oh, where'll I hide it? Oh, I know. I'll put it in my mouth. We've got you surrounded, little boy. Now hand over those five gold pieces. Where are they? Oh, he's got them in his mouth. Uh-oh, where have I heard that voice before? Hand over that money or we'll take it from you. Oh, yeah? You have to catch me first. Oh, oh, I'm all in. I can't run another step. And the robbers are still after me. Oh, I hope there's somebody living in this house. Hey, open the door, quick. Let me in. Anybody home? What do you want, little boy? I want to get in. Robbers are after me. Who are you? I am the little child with blue hair. Oh, please, little child with blue hair. Let me in quick. Aha! We've got you now. Ah, and this time you won't get away from us. Hey, let's go. Hey, what's up? Help! 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 Oh, dear. I must be dead. I see a beautiful angel bending over me. No, you're not dead, Pinocchio. You're safe inside this house. Oh, you're the girl with the blue hair. On you, it looks good. Say, don't tell me you chased away those robbers. Yes, I rescued you. You see, I'm a fairy princess. Oh, I'm glad to know you. I'm Pinocchio, the smart little dummy. Pinocchio, <laughs> why were those robbers after you? Oh, they wanted my money, but they didn't get it. And where is your money? Uh-huh, a gold digger. I, um, uh, I lost it. Oh, look, my nose is growing longer. Of course. Every time you tell a lie to a fairy princess, your nose grows longer. Now, where did you lose the money? Well, uh, uh, in the woods. Wow. My nose is three feet long. <laughs> oh, uh, fairy princess, I didn't lose the money in the woods after all. I, um, uh, well, uh, I swallowed it. Oh, my goodness. My nose is 20 feet long. Oh, if you make my nose short again, I'll, I'll be the best little boy you ever saw. Mm, very well, Pinocchio. I'll conjure up some woodpeckers and put them to work. Bluebell, buttercup, do drop and rose. Woodpeckers chop down this little boy's nose. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Yay, yeah, cut it out. Oh, boy, that tickles. Hey, take it easy. Well, what do you know? I'm not so snooty anymore. Now, let that be a lesson to you. Oh, I've learned my lesson, little fairy. You saved me from the robbers and, and from my own wickedness, too. I love you very much. And I love you, too, Pinocchio. And you may stay here in this cottage and be my little brother. Oh, goody, goody, I sure will. I, I no, no, no. Uh, I forgot about my poor papa. I gotta go back to him. No, you don't, because your father is on his way here. Boy, you can do anything, can't you? May I run out and meet my papa? Yes, but don't get lost. Oh, not me. I'm Pinocchio, and Pinocchio never gets lost. Any minute now, I'll see...
see my dear papa. Oh, I hear, I, th I think I hear somebody coming. We meet again, Pinocchio. Oh, is that you, papa? I cannot tell a whopper. I am not your papa. <laughs> oh, it's you again, the lame fox. Uh, you're limping on the wrong leg. Oh, and I'm here, too. Oh, oh the blind putty tad. Ah, oh, you're looking well. Pinocchio. Oh, well, thank you. I, I, yeah, wait a minute. How do you know I'm looking well? Why, uh, Mr. Fox told me. Oh, oh, suspicious old me. Shame on me. Pinocchio, my lad, the field of miracles is right across the road. Have you still got your gold coins? Yeah, but it's a wonder. You know, two robbers tried to hold me up. Oh, how yeah. terrible. Yeah, well, one was about as tall as a, as a fox, and the other robber was about as small as, as a cat. Yeah, uh, you don't know him, do you? Sounds no. Well, here we are. This is the field of miracles. Oh, boy, now, where do I plant my gold pieces? Right here. Dig a little hole, plant your gold, then go away. Go away? What for? So we can dig up the... I mean, so the uh, <laughs> magic tree can grow. Ah, it won't grow if you watch it. Oh, that's right. I forgot. A watch tree never grows. But when I come back, I'll find a big tree here with thousands of gold pieces on every branch. That's right, Pinocchio. Oh, boy. There now. They're all planted. Well, let's go. Oh, we can't go with you, Pinocchio. We're going to the seashore for a little vacation. Uh, uh, that is, if we can dig up enough money to pay for it. Well, I, I sure hope you can. Well, goodbye, Mr. Fox and Mr. Cat. You're certainly going to do me good. <laughs> <laughs> My papa was right. When you do a good deed for somebody, it makes you very happy. But those two guys seem to be overdoing it a little. Well, here I am back again. What? No tree. Oh, maybe this isn't the place. This is the place, all right. Hey, who's talking to me? I am. You remember me? The talking cricket? The talking cricket? But I killed you, bad little me. Yes, and now I'm the ghost of the talking cricket. Imagine that, a talking ghost. <laughs> Say, did you see a big tree full of gold pieces around here? No, but I did see the fox and the cat sneak back here and dig up some little boy's money. Oh, no, they wouldn't do that. They, uh, or would they? Let me see. The money's not here. Little boys who run away will surely live. To rue the day. I believe you now. I've been horn-swoggled. I've been flim-flammed. I've been robbed. Oh, 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 oh. Three months in jail. Oh, imagine that, a talking dog. Oh, boy, that'll fix him. Why don't you make it six months? Very well, six months in jail for you. Me? Yes, in this town it's a crime to be stupid, and you're lucky if I don't give you life. Take him away. Next case. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I'm right. Pinocchio. You can't do this to me. Hey! Six months I've been away. What kind of a story can I tell the little fairy with blue hair? Oh, am I kidding? I gotta tell her the truth or get a 20-foot nose. Well, if I gotta, I gotta. A little fairy. Let me in. It's me, Pinocchio. Let me in. Hmm. Nobody home. That's funny. See, what's that marble stone over there? It wasn't there before. I'll go find out. Oh, no. Here lies a child with a blue hair who died from sorrow because she was abandoned by her little brother, Pinocchio. Oh, little fairy. Why did you die? Why didn't I die instead of you? I home so wicked. Well, you were so good. My poor papa. Where can he be? Now that I lost both you and my, my papa, who'll take care of me? Oh, poor, poor Pinocchio. Come, come, my child. What are you doing there? I'm crying. That's what I'm doing. What do you know? A talking pigeon. Ain't there no dumb animals in this place? My, my name is Powder the Pigeon. Oh, hello, Powder Pigeon. I know your brother, uh, Walter. <laughs> I'm looking for a puppet named Pinocchio. Oh, well, if I see him, I'll tell you, hey, that's me, I'm Pinocchio. Do you know a man named uh, Geppetto? Well, I ought to, he's my papa, uh, on my father's side. 
Uh, where is he, Mr. Pigeon? Oh, he's far, far away on the seashore. Oh, what's he doing there? Well, he's building a little boat. He has hunted you all over the land, and now he's going to hunt all over the sea. Oh, my poor pup. I must get to him as fast as I can. Are you a carrier, Pigeon? No, 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 but I'll fly you there anyway. Hop on. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pigeon. Okay, I'm ready for the takeoff. Hang on. Here we go. Wow, this bird's got rockets in his pocket. <laughs> On to the seashore, Pidgey, and give her the gun. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Pigeon. You're welcome. I'll be seeing you, pal. Now, where's my dear Papa? Oh, I see him in a little boat way, way out in the ocean. Papa! Oh, Papa! Come back! Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Help! Oh, dear. Help. The waves of, uh, uh, are washing him out to sea. I I'll save you, Papa. I'll save you. Here I come. Oh, I've been swimming for five days, and I still haven't caught up with my poor Papa. Where is he? I think he went that away. Who said that? Oh, my goodness, a talking tuna. Even fishes can talk. Well, if puppets can talk, why can't fishes? Hey, you got a good question there, bub. But answer my question first. Where's my papa? But he's the man in the little boat. He went in that direction. But I hope he hasn't been swallowed up by the giant dogfish. Oh, is there a giant dogfish around here? I'll say there is. He's as big as a five-story house. And he can swallow a railroad train. Now, wait a minute. <coughs> if you don't believe me, look behind you. Here he comes. Help! 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 <laughs> in here. Where am I? We're inside the dogfish, Pinocchio. Oh, hello, Mr. Tuna. Did he swallow you too? Yeah, Pinocchio. We're heading for the last roundup. Oh, this is awful. My papa didn't raise his boy to be a dogfish's breakfast. Well, that's what we are. Well, I hope we give him heartburn. See, listen. Somebody's beating a drum. Do they expect us to march down? That's not a drum, Pinocchio. We're going by the dogfish's heart. Wow, is that the old boy's heart? Sounds more like King Solomon's mines. <laughs> oh, look. See, there's a light in that cave we're coming to. The cave is the stomach, but I don't know what the light is. I see what it is. It's a candle stuck in a bottle, and the bottle is on the table. And there's a man sitting in a chair reading a paper. Say, this fish has got people in his stomach. Hey, hey, mister, is this where we catch the Main Street bus? Pinocchio! Oh, it's my papa! Oh, papa, I found you at last! Oh, my dear little Pinocchio! Imagine meeting you here! Here, the dogfish swallowed me five days ago. Pull up a chair. How've you been? Who's your friend? Oh, oh this is Mr. Tuna. Uh, Mr. Tuna, shake fins with my papa. <laughs> uh, uh, his name is Ed Capetto, the woodcarver. How do you do, sir? Welcome to Tummyville, Mr. Tuna. Pinocchio! How did you get here? Oh, we just followed the swallows. <laughs> oh, come on, Papa. With that candle to light the way, we can find our way back. Yeah, but how can we get out of the dogfish's mouth? Easy, Papa. He's got palpitation of the heart. He has to sleep with his mouth open. <laughs> come on, Mr. Tuna. Papa, everybody run and jump into the ocean. Last one in may lose a chunk of skin. <laughs> Wake up, Pin. Wake up. Uh, oh. Gee, is it morning already? Yes, and a very special morning, my son. You know something, Papa? Huh? Being good is more fun than being bad. And you know, Pop, I had the most wonderful dream last night. The little fairy with the blue hair came to me and told me, because I'd been such a good little puppet, I'd soon turn into a real little boy. It was more than a dream, Pinocchio. Stand up and look in the glass. Okay. Say, who's that funny-looking little gink? What? What? It's me. I'm a real little boy. Oh, little fairy with blue hair, wherever you are, thank you. Thank you. You gave me life. I gave you nothing, Pinocchio. You gave yourself the gift that made you real. An understanding heart. Goodbye. And God bless you, little boy. This is Joan 
Darcy again. Once, a few years back, I was motoring high in the mountains and came to a narrow turn with steep walls on either side. For a moment, all my attention was concentrated on guiding the car. Then, suddenly, on the other side of the pass, the road swiftly broadened and I saw the whole sweep of a valley with rolling hills and a little town set like a jewel in the center. It was just before sunset and all the roofs were purple and the window panes flashing golden fire. I pulled to the side of the road, shut off the motor and watched. It was the sudden change from narrow vision to expanded beauty that made my mind capture this picture and hold it ever since. You know, becoming a mother is something like that. You can read about it, talk about it, even write books about it, just brim full of words. But the experience is quite beyond the span of words. The difference between narrow vision of a mountain pass and the expanded beauty of the valley. Since my twins arrived, my world has been expanded just like that. And in this expanded world of mine, I'm finding out what a useful tool prayer is. All my thanks, my hopes, my dreams would be but empty sounds were it not for prayer. You can be sure that after Patrice and Ellen learn how to say Dada and Mama, I'm going to teach them to say Our Father who art in heaven. At our house, in our home, Dr. Bill and I know the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you Mel Blanc in The Adventures of Pinocchio. Joan Leslie was your hostess. Others in the cast were Francis X. Bushman, Alan Reed, Howard McNear, Junius Matthews, Marion Richman, Jim Nusser, and Tony O'Dare. The script was adapted by Harry Lawrence, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed for Family Theater by Joseph F. Mansfield. This is Tony Lafrano expressing the wish of Family Theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home, and inviting you to join us next week at the same time when Family Theater will present Bob Hope and Gene Cagney in The Long Way Round. Join us, won't you? Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network, the Mutual Broadcasting System.